Hi, hi. <laughs> Oof, girl, you look fat. Not that, not that fat. Um, I don't like this angle at all. So, hi. <laughs> Welcome back to this hot mess that is me. Um, so, I want to talk about things. Uh, So, I don't normally do videos like this, so it's a little awkward. Um, but I'm gonna do it. I, <laughs> I don't want, I mean, I do and I don't want to do this, but I feel like I need to do this. Um, so, I want to talk about my mental health, um, and what I have, and... So people that either personally know me or don't even know me or have, that are going through this, that can relate, um, I don't know, know that they're not the only ones that have it. Uh, so I have selective mutism and social anxiety disorder and I've dealt with depression in and out of my life a lot uh, growing up, even now still. Um, so, what selective mutism is, um, it means that you don't talk to people that you don't know. Uh, like, unless you're close with them. And, as a child, it was pretty, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, people are rude. We got some real bitches there for me. Um, <laughs> so, uh, what selective mutism is, it means you don't talk to people um, that you don't know. Um, unless you're comfortable with them. Like, so for me, as a child dealing with this, I only talked to my family and my cousin, Katie, growing up for the most part. Um, and my other cousin. No, I, that's that's a lie. I did talk to my other little cousins that I hung around. Um, but it was just them and my mom and my dad and my brothers. Um, but other than that, I didn't say anything to anyone. And even at school, like, my teachers probably thought I was getting beaten or whatever. Like, I've had, like, conferences, like, conference meetings. Like, what's wrong with him? Like, with my parents and my teachers and... I had to go to therapy for a while as a child because I wouldn't say anything and it was bad. And then um, my therapist was like, get him a dog, he'll talk. And they got me a dog and it helped. Not, it didn't cure me it, at all, like, but it helped a lot. Like I was talking more to the teachers and some of my classmates, not all of them, but it helped a lot. But, um, I, I still have it, and I still struggle with it till this day, and it's so much fun! It's not. Um, I hate it. I deal with it at work all the time. Um, at every job I've had this. Um, I won't talk to people for a while, and then after I'm comfortable with them, and, like, they try to engage with me, and try to get to know me, I open up more, and, um, then I become comfortable. And I talk. Um, it sucks. And I, I come off as an asshole or rude or being a dick or just shy and aloof. And it's it's not that. I do want to talk to people. It's just I physically can't. Like, I'll get anxiety or I'll think, oh, it's stupid. Like, you just overthink everything. And it's, it's, it's bad. And it sucks. And I hate it. And people are like, this isn't a thing. This isn't a fucking thing. This is a thing. Like, this is a fucking thing that people deal with. And it sucks. And I hate it. Um, so yeah, and add, added on to that, fucking social anxiety is not even fucking, doesn't even help this. Like, it, it's pretty much kind of the same thing. You, I don't feel comfortable in crowds of people I don't know. Like, if a friend invites me to a party and I go and it's just the one friend I know and it's a bunch of fucking strangers, I don't like it. Um, and... Like, even family events, like, there's family members that I'm not, like, particularly super close with. But, like, they, my family loves me and they want me to be around. But it's, like, I don't want to go to these things because I have the worst fucking anxiety and I don't like it. And they don't understand. 
Like, and I, I get it. They want me around and to be around for things. And I, honestly, I do want to, I would love to be a fucking normal human being and be able to go to these things and feel like somewhat of a normal person and enjoy having fun with these people, my family or my friends. But, like, it's, it's stupid and it's, I, I hate it. I hate it. Um, like, I, the people that do know, because I don't tell people this, there's very few people that I do know. Well, now a lot of people are going to know because they're watching this. But I, I don't tell people this about me. And I, like I said, I come off as being shy or an asshole or just being fucking rude, and I don't mean to. Like, um, sometimes I'll say shit the wrong way or I'll say something and I don't think about how it sounds. And, um, but, yeah. I mean, you guys are probably like, oh my god, Steven, you have so many parties. And it's true, I do. But everybody that I have at these parties, um, I know. Um, I remember, um, recently I had a party for Ed's birthday. And he had half of the people there I knew and half of the people he knew. And I was uncomfortable with his half, like... I wouldn't go outside at all of those people. Like, I stayed inside with the people that I knew and I felt comfortable with. Didn't want to go out there. He was out there with his friends, and he's like, oh, you should come out. You should hang out. Bring out some games or whatever. I'm like, um, why don't you bring that out? And it's so stupid. It's so true. It, and it's... it's uh, Ed knows, but he doesn't, like... I don't think he fully grasps the severity of it. Um, like, we go to the store. Like, if we're... If, if we gotta go to the store to run into something, I will not get out of the car. I'll be like, I'm gonna stay here. It's like that. Like, stupid shit. Um, I go food shopping at fucking 2 in the morning when I know nobody's gonna be there. That way I don't have to fucking deal with people or the anxiety. Um, I hate it. <laughs> I fucking hate it. Um, and, like I said, people say they know. I understand. I get it. I get it. But you really don't. If you're asking me to do these things that I'm telling you, I can't. I can't do that. I don't want to do that. I don't feel comfortable doing that. And it's stupid. And I hate it. And it's me. But, yeah. So, <laughs> YouTube. My YouTube channel helped me a lot. Um... And I'm not big on here at all, in any form, but it, it's helped me since way back when, when I first started it, with my anxiety and my depression, and it gave me an outlet to be creative, because I have ideas and a million stories, and I, I like to write, I like to create characters, and I, I can draw, I fucking mold shit out of clay, like, I... I'm a creative person. I like to make things, whether it be a video or a storybook or a figurine. Like I like to create characters and worlds, and they help. All of these things have helped me, and um, they've helped me with my anxiety. And they're great conversation starters. People think they're amazing, and um, they have helped me a lot with this. So I'm gonna start making more YouTube videos again. I want to, I need to. Um, I feel like it'll help me not be this weirdo that I am. And maybe make some friends along the way. Uh, so if I've ever been weird or aloof or mean or if I've ever said anything that came out mean or annoying or if you think I'm an asshole, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be. Um, it's just... Um, <laughs> no. Um, if you want to get to know me, and you're like in my personal life, or, what, or even on the fucking internet, talk to me. Ask me questions about myself. Um, I will answer. And the more you talk to me, the more you engage, the more comfortable I get with you. And if I start talking to you in my... YouTube character names, just know that I'm getting comfortable, or I am comfortable with you. If I'm like, hey, Bobo, how you doing? <laughs> that means it's like, comfortable, but like, oh, hey, how you doing? Or like, oh my god. Like, <laughs> can't. I'm looking at myself <laughs> saying this shit. 
Uh, so yeah, if I talk to you like that, that means I'm <laughs> comfortable with you. I make myself laugh. I think I'm hilarious. Um, but yeah, I, that's another thing. I'm funny. If you get to know me personally, I am a really funny guy. I can be. Um, I'm just a fart joke type of guy. I'm very, I can be very immature. Um, other things that help me with my anxiety, if I ever go to social things, I get drunk so I can feel comfortable. And then I get too drunk and then my sister comes out. And my sister is Edith. She's a whore. She will hit on anything, anything that she thinks is pretty. Whether it be a guy or a girl, she will jump on them. So, yeah. Anyways, this off the topic, off the trap, off the topic. Um, off the topic. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, try to make more videos and be funny and make friends. So, thank you for watching this. If you are struggling with selective mutism, or social anxiety, or any type of anxiety or mental health issue. You are not alone. We struggle together. Um, so yeah, oh my god! There was a fly and it hit me. A little tiny one too. It wasn't even like one of those big flies. It was a baby fly. Anyways, um, if you struggle with any form of anxiety, you are not alone. We all have our own type of crazy, and this is my type of crazy. So, I'm going to leave the video at this. Uh, thank you for watching and wasting your life on me. And, um, like and subscribe. Well, you can subscribe if you want. You don't have to, but it's there. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye, bitch.